Hello, and welcome to the What's New in ID8 Apps for the May 2019 release. This is Sash Kazaminijab with ID8 Software. Thanks for joining me today for this short update video. This video is designed for existing ID8 Apps customers and covers the recent features and benefits found within this May 2019 release. Revit version 2020 became publicly available in April 2019, and in May 2019, ID8 Software released a new version of ID8 Apps. Before we cover the ID8 Apps improvements, I want to thank all of those who help us improve. Our customers and beta testers are a vital part of our design and quality control process. The May 2019 release of ID8 Apps impacts versions for Revit 2017 through 2020, as shown here. So remember to update your existing versions to access these improvements. This video covers improvements made to the May 2019 update. We are confident that improvements to our May 2019 release of ID8 apps will continue to help you with your daily Revit workflows. Be sure to upgrade your 2017 through 2020 versions today. Let's have a look at some of these improvements. ID8 Renumber now supports rules for MEP fabrication parts. We have worked with customers to identify some of the key parameters to expose, such as item number, which allows Renumber to write to that parameter. Renumber now ships with new content for MEP fabrication, as shown on your screen. Like other categories, users can also renumber MEP fabrication elements from within a Revit schedule. Kobe Assets is a new multi-category rule that merges the built-in project information. Number field, plus the type mark, plus the room number fields, and then an increment value. The result is then pushed into the target parameter called Kobe Asset Identifier, as shown here. Modify this rule to fit your Kobe required naming for assets to automatically populate this field within a multi-category schedule. ID8 Quick Select now expands on the keynote tags by subdividing the category into the three keynote types, element, material, and user. As part of your model review process, it is now much easier to identify the types of keynotes used. For example, if your office has a policy against the use of user keynotes, they will now be much easier to identify and sort out while using Quick Select. In addition to the keynote subcategories, ID8 Quick Select now includes support for structural connections and the new Path of Travel feature that was added to the Revit 2020 product. ID8 Clone has undergone some simple yet effective upgrades. For starters, you can now duplicate a view, duplicate with detailing, and duplicate as dependent to a different name by using the Find and Replace feature. For example, if you want to duplicate a floor plan to become a furniture plan, you can use the Find and Replace feature to change the name of the floor plan to a furniture plan. You can do the same thing for other disciplines, such as duplicating a mechanical plan to an electrical plan. In addition, ID8 Clone now reports on a couple of conditions. For example, if you select one sheet to clone, ID8 Clone will report how many times that sheet has been cloned in the active cloning session. If you choose to clone multiple sheets in one session, then ID8 Clone will report which sheet you're about to clone, where it is at in the queue of sheets to be cloned, and how many total sheets have been cloned in the active session. Lastly, in addition to the improvements to ID8 Clone, the overall interface has been simplified. For example, the placeholder sheet option is now collapsed by default and will expand when the radio button is selected. We are confident that improvements to our May 2019 release of ID8 apps will continue to help you with your daily Revit workflows. Be sure to upgrade your 2017 through 2020 versions today. We are only able to maintain our quality through your excellent communications with our team. If you have a moment, please send us your requests. You can do so through the help menu as shown on your screen. We want to know both the good and the ugly. Even if you need more information in our help file, we want to know, so be sure to drop us a line. There are two ways to access this new release. From within any of the nine ID8 Apps applications, you can find updates via the Help menu, as shown on your screen. You can also download all of our software from the id8software.com forward slash download page. When you subscribe with ID8 Software, you have access to solutions that work with the current Revit version plus the three earlier versions. You also have access to point release improvements, which are made throughout your subscription period. If you have any support-related questions or are in need of any new or updated network license files, be sure to email us at support at id8software.com. Be sure to check out our in-product and online help files for detailed information on how to make the most of ID8 apps. 
For more information on ID8 software, including online training, recorded videos, and upcoming events, visit us online at www.id8software.com. Thanks for watching What's New in ID8 Apps for the May 2019 release. For any questions related to ID8 software pricing, contact your local sale partner or email us at sales at id8software.com.